One of the things that happened as a result of the pandemic in our member states and globally, um, a lot of persons who had a little piece of land decided to grow food because one, they had to use their time productively and two, as incomes fell, they need to have a little bit of fresh fruit and vegetables. You know, if you could grow it yourself, it was helpful. So we saw that in as much as um, we saw it in other parts of the world, we saw it in the Caribbean, we saw little businesses of all kinds grow as a result of needing to find productive ways to use your time and needing to generate some level of income when the normal income sources had, had fallen. So yes, we would have had some glut somewhere, some shortages. We've always known that we have a transportation issue in, in, the, in the development of the CARICOM single market. Um, if you can't get factors of production, people, finance, um, labor, if you can't get the factors of production to move, then you really can't talk about taking advantages in different places. And therefore, the transportation of people and transportation of, of, of products becomes really important. That's high on the agenda at this time. I know that we've talked about it several times in the past. I think again because of the impact of COVID and the and the the disruptions that occurred, transportation of food in particular is really on the on the agenda, but not only food, food and, and people. people. So if there's a glut in St. Vincent, there really ought to be no reason for that extra not to go to St. Lucia or Barbados or some other place. And the ministers of agriculture have been and the officials have been talking about all of the things that need to be sorted through um, phytosanitary stuff, for example, to ensure that we, we manage the movement in such a way that nobody's agriculture sector is compromised. But at the same time, the food has to move. Mm -hmm. And so that's high on the agenda um, and is linked very closely with the matter of, of food security and increased food production.